Hello, welcome once again. In this video, you are going to have the answers for two questions of six marks each from Romeo and Juliet. I can't explain you everything what is given in the answers. I just say that just go through the contents and memorize them, read several times and just write in the examination because it's not that easy to explain everything in a small video. These answers definitely will give you 6 out of 6 provided you don't make any spelling mistakes. Because I have covered everything, all the points that are required to be written. So therefore, uh, you can be sure that definitely you will get 6 out of 6 if you reproduce these answers as they are. Now it is your capability how you prepare and uh, how you present there in the examination. Okay, two important questions and their answers. Uh, you can just listen first and then things. Just write down in your notebook and then make it perfect. That it get it here and uh, just go and write in the examination. In my channel, you can get the answers for six mass questions from different poems. So I advise you to stick on to only poem because uh, there are three options. One among them is a poem. Therefore, it is better to uh, stick on to only poem so that you can easily answer because there is a lot to write in the poems. So you can find other videos in my channel okay so go through them also and now let's go on to the uh, questions and answers this question is there in your textbook and it is likely to come comment on the contrasting imagery the imagery means the group of words that makes you to form a mental picture of certain scene that is called the imagery contrasting he says contrast means dead opposite two things of opposite nature are kept side by side that is called contrasting in romeo and juliet what purpose does it serve in highlighting the intensity of love the intensity of love of romeo and uh, Juliet, how it is highlighted. The two soliloquies given in the first unit are taken from the world famous romantic tragedy Romeo and uh, Juliet. Soliloquy is something that a character utters which is supposed to be only in his mind. But as he wants to convey his thoughts to the audience, he makes a speech. Essentially, it is what is there only in his mind as a thought. This was written for the stage more than 400 years ago by William Shakespeare, one of the greatest playwrights of all times. Though these soliloquies are speeches made on the stage, but they are more a poetry than prose. So many poetic devices are used in these masterpieces. If you do not know what are poetic devices, the answer to this will be given in the second part. For critical appreciation, these are the points required. And third level answers, that is six mass questions are to be answered in this way only. Therefore, these points are given. Just note them down and remember them. The most dominant poetic device used here is contrast. They are dull, bright, black, white, soft, rude, day, night and death and mortality. The purpose of using these contrasting features is to enhance the effect. Enhance means to make it more, more and more or prominent. Some examples to illustrate this. 
the very first line implies that the burning torch looked dull compared to juliet's fairness further shakespeare deliberately uses ethiop's ear to contrast with the brightness of this sparkling jewel ethiop here is a black negro woman the dark background enhances the effect the next imagery is snowy dow trooping with the crows if the poet had said that juliet looked like a dow the effect would have been less by giving crows as a dark background the effect is enhanced the white dow and the crows are the contrasting features likewise in the imagery of new snow on a raven's back use of raven instead of a crow enhances the effect more as a raven is jet black new snow is extreme white and a raven is extreme dark by using these contrasting imageries shakespeare has enhanced the effect thereby indicating that the intensity of love for each other was at its peak comment on the figures of speech and other poetic devices used in romeo and juliet or the soliloquies in romeo and juliet are more a poetry than speeches justify the statement or write a critical appreciation of the soliloquies of romeo and juliet here we are going to examine and evaluate how good are these soliloquies as a pieces of poetry in a play when a character reveals what is in his or her mind by saying it loudly to the audience is called as soliloquy the two soliloquies given in the unit romeo and juliet are more a poetry than an ordinary speech this is very special about many playwrights of elizabethan period many poetic devices like figures of speech alliteration assonance cesura imagery rhyme scheme etc have been used in the soliloquies to make the speech poetic this made the audience feel very much impressed as the audience loved poetry the poetic devices used with the examples first one simile it seems she hangs upon the cheek of night as a rich jewel in an ethiop's ear in these lines there is a poetic device that is called a simile here brightness of juliet is compared to a sparkling jewel second that also is simile so shows the snowy dow trooping with the crows here juliet is compared to snowy dow and others around her to crows here the word so is used as as are like third metaphor whiter than a new snow on raven's back here fairness of romeo is compared to new snow but as are like words are not used fourth one apostrophe come night here juliet addresses night which is an abstract thing fifth one personification come gentle night here night is treated as a person that's why it is called a personification other poetic devices used are alliteration she doth teach the torches to burn bright and uh, so shows a snowy dow these two are alliterations and assonance as yonder her fellows shows so it fellows shows there is a vowel sound repeated vowel sound that's why it is called assonance the best poetic devices used are the imagery so shows a snowy dove and thou wilt lie upon 
a cheek of night these two are beautiful imageries then there is a paradox though day in night day and night both are used here in a sentence another very important device is cesura did my heart love till now for swear it sight another very important thing which is required for any poem is its a rhyme scheme the soliloquy by romeo has an end rhyme a a p b c c d d e e and the lines are in iambic pentameter so there is a very good rhythm in this while the other soliloquy has no rhyme scheme yet it has a fine rhythm so it is in a black verse these pieces of soliloquies were supposed to be simple speeches in the play but by using so many poetic devices shakespeare has created beautiful pieces of poetry hats off to the great master that is shakespeare